Bro, ah! Oh. Oh, he needs God. some milk. <laughs> That's what you get for drawing on my face last night. Yeah, she got me last video. <laughs> I got more coming for her. Welcome back to another video. Act of verse today is gonna be a banger because I'm fixing my hair, man. Last video, I don't know if you guys seen it. She messed me up, yo. She messed me up pretty bad, you can't see it. I have a patch on the back of my head and I'm fixing it right now. This video right here, so stay tuned. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. But before we get into the video, here is intro. Oh. Intro. The tools that I have right here is what I'm going to be using throughout the whole video today. Uh, this is a tutorial basically for beginners uh, want to know how to do their own hair, especially if you guys have dreads. Uh, I have some tips and everything for you guys. I'm going to be voice over in the whole thing. Just know that this video is going to be a banger and you guys need uh, a mirror which to see the back of your hair. And if you guys have one of these mirrors that pop off and on, you guys can use that too because that's what I used to use to cut my hair. And it was very hard actually to cut the back of my hair. I had to literally FaceTime myself. I FaceTime myself literally from a, uh, yeah, I put my laptop on my lap. I sat on the toilet. I FaceTime myself from my phone to my laptop. I literally just cut my hair while looking at my laptop. That's one of the first self cut I've ever done in my life on my hair because this thing was not as flexible as this, this thing right here. So definitely get you one of these. It's only like five bucks at uh, Walmart and I went and copped it today. I don't know why I waited so long. For some reason, I just thought it was pointless. But now that I am starting to cut my hair more, uh, and that I want to do, I want to fix the whole 360 of my head, and not not a taper anymore. I need definitely one of these. So I went and got these. What I have right here is a wall uh, cordless magic clippers, and they come in handy because it's very wireless, lasts a long time, and the fact that uh, we have a ceramic on there helps so much with the cuts, just like crispy cuts like I'm telling you like I did a 12 a 15 minute cut if you guys haven't watched the video go check it out and I use just this go get you one of these liners too and if you guys just started go to a website on Amazon uh, and look up and this uh, look up an and this set basically a combo and it comes with one of these and one of these with actually a cord so it's not a magic clip that you get with it but you get an and this clippers a master one a bigger one with the cord on it but that's how i started and it helps so much to learn because if you know how to cut your hair with the worst clippers guess what once you upgrade to these and stuff like that you will get it a crispy fade uh, gunther the great uh, the great family got me this for uh, my birthday 2018 uh, my birthday they gave me this and i still have it it's one of the best tools to have as a as a barber uh, you don't have to be a barber really to use this. You can just use this first day of your ever cutting your hair because you get that crispy ball line with that. Uh, what I have right here is I have the one. Uh, that's all we're going to be using uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, maybe towards the top of my hair, I might use one and a half just towards the bulk, top of my bulk. As far as I'm concerned, I don't usually end up using this. I just end up using one because uh, you don't want your hair to be long, especially if you're doing your own cuts. You want to get it as short as, as much as you can because you don't want to cut your hair every freaking week. Uh, you want to be able to cut your hair at least every two weeks or a month. So basically, I'm going to line it up so you guys can very much understand this. It's very simple, very easy. So you got a, a regular zero, which they call this zero. Then you have 0 0.5. That's what it's known by one and a half or one sixteenth. Basically, after this, they usually the clippers that you guys get a combo. If you get a combo of this, it doesn't come with a half. This you have to get on your own uh, from uh, online, or you gotta get it from like um, Sally Beebe's. And it's called 0 0.5 and you have to get one of these to get a good fade especially if you have straight hair and then so usually you get this and it skips to that and then it skips to two so what i have is in between so i have 0 0 0.5 1 1.5 basically so 0 0 0.5 1 one and a half and you're going to use all one and a halves or the halves all the halves you're going to use in between the fades to get a crispy lineup and so now you guys understand basically what those clippers do or what those guards do this tutorial should be just smooth just follow me follow through listen and learn appreciate you guys stay tuned to the whole video because it's a banger 
and I forgot to mention, I have a brush. Brushing is one of the keys, trust me. Because uh, sometimes you cut a hair and the hair stuck, gets stuck on there. So you don't know if you cut it or not. So you, Or your clippers don't know if you cut it or not. So it's going to keep hitting. So you need a brush to get that off. And also a duster. Dust you off. Alright y'all, dusty boys. Y'all need this. Alright, act the first family today, man. Y'all gonna learn how to cut hair for sure, man. This is step by step, literally. I took my time making this video. I took my time cutting my hair. I took my time explaining myself exactly how I used it. So please watch the whole video. And if you're learning, don't be scared. So I start right here with just my T, uh, my T trimmers. And what I'm doing is uh, making my first guideline. Uh, easiest way to start your haircuts are guidelines. There are people that do it without guidelines since they know what they're doing. Right here, you see me patched up, all messed up, all you know what I'm saying? And it's about to be a banger transformation, so please stay tuned. So, I'm making my first line basically, uh, guideline, and I'm gonna be balding out everything underneath that is going to be getting balled out and also i'll be using that shaver that i told you guys is necessary because without the shaver i can't do it and i went back to using i said i was not going to use the 1.5 right here but i did use it because i had to get the bulks out and what i did was i closed the guard lever closed and i'll show you in a bit like what lever closed is and what lever opened is because i know i explained it on the on the video um when i edited it like i put some footage just to show you guys what closed and open me so right here is a closed lever of one and a half and I'm just bulk and hitting the books and if you have dreads or long hair you want to put in a ponytail and also you want to protect it with your hands kind of like filling where you're cutting at uh, as you guys see like there's a bulk that I'm missing right up top there and um, I don't know why but I didn't see it on the camera but later on I'll get to it so all I was doing is just like going over it, hitting the bulk down, getting the bulk down. Because what I noticed was when I was using the T trimmers and I was trying to uh, make my first guy line, the hair was too much to where my T trimmers wasn't cutting it. And my T trimmers, I haven't used it for a while, so it's kind of like dull a little bit. It needs to get sharpened, it needs to get adjusted. And I fixed it the previous video, uh, but it still needs more sharpening and all that stuff. So like I said, I lost my T, my T liners. So my T uh, slimline uh, allies. So I feel bad about about that, but at the same time, I gotta move on and use what I got. So this is what I'm using, and it's taking a lot of a lot of time. And I get frustrated, and I start using the big the big clippers to finish off the rest of the, the cut, uh, or the, the rest of the uh, hitting the bulk and getting. Uh, see how I'm using it right there, like getting everything down. I start using this instead because the other one was annoying. Uh, maybe I, I thought about maybe if I used it once it's like Cut all the way down. Maybe it can get a pretty good ball line or a ball uh, it can ball out pretty good, but Yeah, I got tired of it and I switched to this big one and this big one is what I use when I cut my brother Dune I don't know if you guys seen the 15 minute cut. I literally cut my brother for 15 minutes in 15 minutes a whole cut man. and so Yeah, I'm trying to get uh, a new, a new, a new clippers, man. I need new clippers like the ones that you be seeing like on uh, on Instagram with the gold and all that stuff. Eh? All that exclusive stuff is expensive, but it's worth it, man. Nice clippers is the best thing. I started off with Walmart clippers, but at the end of the day, I got to where I am today because I didn't give up because my first cut was terrible. Not that terrible though. Actually, it wasn't that terrible for the first time. So what I'm using right here is the mirror that I told you guys to get. It's all linked. Everything is linked in the description. Uh, I know that at this time, since it's quarantine, I noticed everything is expensive. Like the clippers that I have right now, like these ones, uh, the one I'm using with the T liner the, or the T trimmers, I actually bought a combo with it. It's called an Envy combo, and I linked in the description too. I bought it for like $79 as a combo, and over here they charging. <laughs> They charge it like for 189. I checked it right now. I'm just getting down to where my neck hair goes all the way to the back of my neck. That's to the back of my back. That's why I'm doing all that unnecessary stuff. But I'm right here. I'm dusting it. Like I said, brushing and dusting is the best thing. I'm taking my time to ball down, to ball out everything. Right here, I'm gonna show you guys what lever down is. Right there is open, and that's closed right there. So down is open, 
which is not towards the uh, not towards the blade but away from the blade is open and towards the blade is closed so right here is open I'm hitting it with an open lever open zero and I told you guys what zero is so you guys should know and if you guys don't understand go back to the video and keep watching it again and again because I know when I started cutting hair bro like I literally had to watch so many videos like there's nobody that sat down and did this uh, probably is but I just didn't find it at that time and so right here I'm opening it and I'm making my first uh, my second guideline making like a going like half an inch to an inch uh, or a quarter of an inch all the way to uh, towards my dreads and what I'm doing right here is like since I can't see really from the mirror from the front mirror that I have uh, in the bathroom I'm using the uh, mirror that I bought the handheld mirror and it's just like it comes in handy I wish there's like a, a way to just like to get a What's it called? Like a tripod for handheld uh, <laughs> um, mirror, and I j you just move it from there. But I, yeah, like it's hard to get it because your hand is shaking at the same time. It's like you're trying to see where you're hitting that. So I'm going all the way around right here. What I'm doing is I'm closing it halfway uh, to blend it from the first guy line to the second guy line. So you'll see. I'm not gonna go on the bulk that you guys see the. I'm just gonna go halfway to the guy to the second guideline. Halfway to the second guideline. Halfway to the second guideline. Halfway, and you want to flicker, and it's hard to flicker whenever you cut in the back of your hair, but you have to do it. You have to try. You have to try. You're probably gonna end up having lines in the back of your head, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know to flicker my to flick my wrist, and it, it comes in in practice. Practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So, right here, I ain't gonna lie, the back of your hair is the hardest, the uh, hardest, the hardest, the hardest to get the line out. So, what I'm doing is basically, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm using all the way half. Half means, like, I told you guys what lever open is and lever closed is. It's in between those. And that is, I don't know what that is called specifically, but I just call it halfway. And now, in a bit, I'm gonna be closing it and I'm gonna get rid of the whole first guideline that we made in the beginning with the T right there. You guys see how what the half is right there, see what the half is? And I'm going halfway, I'm not going all the way in. And I'm flicking, I'm flicking, I'm flicking, I'm flicking, I'm flicking. Because without flicking, man, you're gonna be, make, you're gonna be making like several guidelines, so you don't wanna do that. Right here, I'm a, uh, I'm a lever close it. I know I didn't do it on the camera, but I lever, uh, the lever is closed right now, and I'm getting rid of, like, completely get, getting rid of the first guideline that we made with the T trimmers and the, the shaver that we shaped. And I'm working my way all the way around. Sorry if I if I'm talking too much and and it's bugging you guys from watching the video, but I feel like if you guys listen and also watch it again. Uh, maybe twice or three times you guys will literally understand what I'm saying I'm looking all the way around to see if I got the first line out see how the first line just gone right there it literally disappeared and that comes in clutch because the, the ceramic blade is on there shout out to Marcus uh, he put a ceramic blade on it before I bought it from him um, he didn't use it much because he, he needed a bigger uh, Clippers like a master, like a, a heavy duty uh, clippers, and they have like a bigger version of this. Uh, this is just like a home use, or if you have like multiple, you can use it at the barber shop also. And it's just, it's just like I love this hair. I love this clipper because it's very light and it's wireless. I love wireless, things, man. So I'm mad I lost my uh, slimline, uh, slimline, slimline pros. Like that was like my favorite line. There. So look at that! I got rid of all the line. You don't see no line. You don't see no line. Don't cap. Don't cap in the comment. Don't try to cap. This is a one guard or one eighth. What I'm doing right now is brushing it down so that this bolt can be gone. This bolt has to be gone. And I'm literally flicking my wrist also as I'm doing this because I'm trying to get a good fade and I'm not. I'm not trying to get another guideline. You don't want to get multiple guidelines. You just want to get like the first two guidelines I showed you guys. That's all you guys want for your cut. And after that, you don't need it. Right here, I closed the number one, uh, and I, I went the other way, the opposite way. And it, this is because it's not the same 
way you can hit it from the bottom up because your hair grows down your hair don't grow up so when i close it and i'm going down against it it's like it's a different it's a different technique basically to get rid of the bulk this is a number one uh open again because like i said i'm trying to get rid of the bulk and then i closed it right here after i went all the way around after i closed it this is the way to get from the bulk that, that i hit to the to the number one or to the second guideline that I made earlier. So this is in between the bulk that I hit and also the fade that I, I, I gave myself by getting rid of the line earlier uh, from a number one, from zero to a number one. So you have to work your way to where, look right here, okay, listen, sorry, I'm talking a lot. This lever closed right here. Um, what I'm doing is basically uh, the corner work right now. So remember how I closed the number one, right? I closed the number one and I hit everything that seemed to be in the bolt in between the bulk and the bottom of my uh, first guideline. And so this clipper, this guard, what it does is it goes from a number one or a, uh, a one closed to a zero open. Zero is without a guard. If you have no guard on anything, if you have no guard on there, it means it's a zero. So now what I did was I put this on and I'm hitting the line, the second guy line to my first to one closed. I don't know if it makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense, man. like I'm uh, tapping a lot so I kind of got done with the haircut I, of course I gotta do finishing touch but for the lineup I don't need to take down more hair than I'm supposed to I noticed that I kept on going back on my lineup because I kept on going back on my dread by bringing them down the little baby hair so I'm not gonna bring down much baby hair uh, big forehead gang I'm not gonna bring more uh, baby hair down anymore I'm just going to use the smallest baby hair I can possibly use to get a crispy lineup and the sides is very easy you go towards where your hair is at and you basically get that out so I notice right here there's a little line and basically the finishing touch is where you go back and forth between like what is popping what is what looks obvious so right here there's a line right there you guys can see and I'm gonna get rid of it in a bit and as you guys you get better eyes in the future like right now to some it looks look like a crispy fade to me it's all right it's not the best fade that i ever gave him to somebody or to myself but it's, it's something that uh that i'm very proud of and you guys are gonna see me be very proud of it at the end because i haven't cut my hair in a while i know there you guys can say there's a there's a line up there or there's a lot of bulk up there you guys should use like a one and a half to hit it or uh or something like that but to me uh, a fade is not to where you don't have a dark spots. I like dark spots. I like dark and then fading out. I don't like a very light dark spot. So it's just, it depends on what you prefer also. And um, yeah, thank you for staying tuned to, to this whole video, man. The rest is gonna be like cleaning up work, clean up work and line up. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Love y'all. Stay tuned to the whole video because at the end I have a thing for y'all. Peace. All right, guys, this is been a banger haircut. Right now, I'm about to just line up my hair with a razor. Uh, for the razor video, I might not include it in here because it's just too much already. Um, I'm gonna make like a razor just video by itself because it's like there's a lot of tips I can throw at y'all and a lot of things that can go into it. So I can do a different video if you guys really like this, enjoy this video, just tell me that you guys want to see uh, the razor uh, techniques and the razor uh, haircut. I will do that in the future, but today this is it. It's a banger haircut. Sheesh, like I'm, I'm stoked. Last time I cut my hair was like maybe, maybe six months ago, seven months ago, maybe six months ago or so, because Gunther Gray used to cut my hair and then I used to taper my hair also, just the side taper. And the side taper is like the easiest way to, to get a cool cut and, and a, a real quick cut. And that's what I used to do, just keep, hit the sides, hit the back of my hairline back here 
and then I'll be at the house. But today I give you guys the most ultimate banger quarantine video. Whenever you're at home and you're not doing anything and you need to get your hair cut, go grab some clippers, some Walmart clippers, and I can do I can show y'all how to zero gap Walmart clippers and and use it as a banger. Like like your haircuts like trust me I did that the first time I got my haircut and don't be afraid to to do your haircut too I think a lot of people get scared uh, to cut their hair the first time but to be honest with you it's so it's like it's so hard at first but it's so easy at the same time after you get it and that's that's because of practice like your hand has to adapt to it like it's like juggling basically if you start juggling out of nowhere you're not gonna get it right away but through practice you are able to get it That's, that might not be the basic the best example but I can tell you like if you start right now and by the, by the time it's like next year with Walmart clippers like you be you be like oof especially after you upgrade once you upgrade your clippers from like walmart to having hitters like mine like mine is pretty good but there's like more hitters than that i leveled up so much when i got these clippers first of all they're wireless second it's so easy i lost my other wireless liner uh that's what i used to use but now i have to go back to the old one uh, with the cord which you guys seen but i'm telling you guys like get yourself a walmart clipper like start with that and start with that like start with that Follow the steps that I showed you guys and get to her haircut. That's like, look at look how smooth I look. Sheesh. You get a cut like this, bruh, you gonna win anything and everything. Favor is gonna be bestowed upon your life, like poured on, on your head. This is the cut of the dang century, man. This is the cut of the day. This is the cut of the month. This is the cut of the year. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I forgot to show you guys 360 of my cut. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod. Sorry. When I'm editing right now, I just noticed I didn't do a 360 transformation video for y'all. Or the part where I'll show you guys basically what the cut looked like. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys go thumbs up like hit the thumbs up man i want you guys to hit the thumbs up and second go comment below and become the part of the family part of this family and also the verse family the verse family is our family channel me and my wife's and uh we have posted like pranks like she pranked me real bad uh, the video you guys seen before uh on this um she pranked me on there but before that i pranked her on the channel so go check that out go become a verse family man this family's grown so much we almost had 200 subscribers on the verse family and then 10 can on here god is so good man i love you guys i love the support that you guys have been showing this is it for today man i don't know what else to say i want to keep talking to you guys but this is it like, bang your haircut god dang get you guys one of these too and it has the the five and the three x in the back of it so that you guys can zoom like and see like pretty big and pretty close. Check out the previous video, but till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Act Diverse and I'm out. Ooh. How'd it look? Really good. Really good, huh? I'm yeah, so like good at this, it. huh? <laughs> Should I become a barber, bitch? You already tried that. <laughs> I didn't try it. I didn't. You were a barber. Yeah, I was a barber, but you like... stopped for a reason. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you could do it for fun, but I don't You need to take a shower. You don't need to do that. I'm gonna take a shower. What do you think, though? It looks really good. I like it. I'm glad I messed up on your hair. I like it a lot. You like Sexy. it a lot? Sexy. Usually I look at myself in that little thing, but I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you right now. You look good. Uh, by the way, um, you're going to get pranked more. No, I'm leaving. You better leave. <laughs>